Hello, I'm Tunadon. So I think it's funny when people think they are doing a good job and they get applauded. Yeah, good, good. When they're really doing another blunder. Yeah, we have this guy, Anders Lorgo. He was a Swedish hero. Yeah, Anders Lorgo. Maybe you heard about him. He is uh, in charge of a place. He's a social democrat. He's an elected politician's politician. And he is running a place called Södertälje, just south of Stockholm. It's a place where there are 80,000 citizens, right? And maybe you heard about him, because he was at the US Congress uh, some years ago, where he did a speech, and he told them that his area, Södertälje, accepted more refugees than the whole of the US. And people go, wow, yeah, okay, what a guy, you know. That's wonderful, I mean, here. And especially among the social democrats. Hey, there you go, Anders Lago. Whoa, what a guy, what a hero, right? But you don't hear the, the how it ended very often, right? You hear the bragging, but how did it go? So, well, it didn't go well, I can tell you that. It's a small place, they got lots of refugees, and he had great ideas, great ideas on how to integrate them. He was an integration guy, you might say, he was sort of an expert. And um, he had these wonderful ideas on how people should blend in, in this new place, in society. So, and it didn't work out. I had this friend who moved there. She moved there just a few months ago. And she told me today that she's moving out. Why? Because there's too much fuss, there's so much problems. And it's not a safe place to live. Yeah. There are parts of Södertälje where the, the public transport buses won't go. They go around them. If they go through them, they get th stones thrown at them. I mean, not every time, I think. But this weekend, uh, there was actually pub, uh, physical injury caused by these stones. Right. So integration, no, it didn't work out very well under Schlago. So uh, I think he did treason actually to his community. That's, that's what I think. He should, yeah. He will never admit it. You know, he will blame something else. Anyway, okay, so I have this business associate that I talked to yesterday and he moved out of a place called Jordbro and I know this place very well. It used to be a very good, nice place. Well, you could actually consider moving there. And now it, it has gone down for a long time, and that, for some time at least. And he said he's moving out. Uh, he just got a three weeks ago, he got a son and he's married. And he said, well, I, I can't let my son grow up here. It's not safe. So, you, you can't relax. So they're moving out. And I asked him so specifically, what, what's going on there? And then he told me that he had his a window in his house smashed eight times in two years. Uh, yeah, and there was a big rock thrown at his entrance door. Somebody tried to smash his entrance door with a big rock. And it was completely ruined. Yeah, this is very costly, of course, not to mention the, the fear that you feel, you know, the anger, frustration. You don't feel safe. 
So he moved, he's moving out. He moved out already. Yeah. I think politicians here in Sweden, especially, I think, the Social Democrats, but also the other parties, they have this idea. Well, you just come to Sweden and it's going to be fine. You're going to love it here. You, want, you will want to be a Swede. You want to be Swedish when you come here. <laughs> yeah, you would love it. Uh, so that, uh, and they think this, and they still do, I think. And they didn't figure this out. They, they didn't know, you know, some don't want to integrate. They, re they really don't. They want to set up their own thing in the new country. Yeah, they want their traditions and their culture, you know, and they, you know, that's what they want. So, you get all these troubles. Yeah, I don't think they ever figured this out. And, I, and they will never, ever, ever admit that they were wrong about this. You know, I don't know what's going, what has to happen before they uh, reconsider. And they will never admit that they were wrong. But they were. They, they have done some sort of experiment here with this country. And it's turning out very badly. You know, people are suffering. We, have the, we are second in the world in rape. We have 50, more than 50 rape uh, reported. Rapes reported in a hundred thousand citizens. There's only one country that is higher and that is Lesotho in South Africa. It's got 90. And you can compare it to Denmark for instance, very close to us. You know, They have seven and we have 53. So uh, Integration is not going well. No. All right. That's what I want to say. Bye.